This is a Moose from Moose Studios Pottery. Uh, in this section we're going to show you how to um, uh, glaze up, or actually start the glazing process of Ellie's Frog. Just sh show you what we're going on. Basically I want to keep the eyes white, the little hat gold, and to do that we're going to put a little bit of um, uh, clear over the top of it, and then we're going to put wax resist on those so that when we put we run it through the dipping uh, glaze, those won't get covered. And we're also going to put a little name tag, put wax on the bottom, and we'll show you how that works. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take it over, and we're going to douse this. Basically, we're just going to wash it off to get all the all of the uh, sand and grit and stuff off of it. We're just going to do that in the sink. We'll just run some water onto it. All nice and wet, basically. And then just get the sand and the, the dust and stuff off of it, so that when we put glaze on it, it won't get speckled. Basically, because if we don't do this, it'll it will get speckled. So that's all we gotta do here. Now, what I've got is I'm, we're back on a turntable, and I have some commercially prepared uh, clear glaze. But this is just stuff that we purchase at, at uh, Duncan's by the gallon. Basically, I put a little tray, so you don't use very much. You don't use very much of this at all. Because clay is white, it'll fire white, and all I'm going to do basically is add a little bit of gloss to it, and we'll just go ahead and paint these eyes up. That's it for now. Okay, now we've got the the uh, uh, clear glaze put on. You'll notice that the location where I put the clear glaze right here is blue, and the reason why is because that particular clay, the glaze has blue food coloring in it, just to show you where it where it's at. Okay, now what we're doing now is we're adding a little bit of very very thin yellow transparent glaze to the already over glazed um, uh, crown. Um, this is just basically to enhance the yellow a little bit. And the reason why we under glazed it at all basically was just so to bring this particular yellow out and so it's more yellow and not quite so transparent. Um, and that's it basically we're just going to put one little fine coat of that and that'll be it. Okay next step is we're going to melt the wax resist. Basically this is a material that's made from paraffin and mineral spirits, and uh, this it basically the wax is melted in the hot water, and then um, mineral, mineral spirits were added to perform this kind of jelly gel-like material. And to use it, you really want to need to melt it again. So to do that, I'm going to put it into a double boiler, actually, just a old old plastic coffee can. Add some boiling water to it. In this case, I'm going to use the water out of my um, teapot that I use to make hot tea during the winter. Uh, and also for wash water um, and we're just going to pour the water right up to the shoulder of the jar and let it set for a minute and, it'll, and that will melt the wax until it becomes a liquid. Um, the, what, the, what the mineral oil does basically is it lowers the melting temperature of the wax. The actual uh, way to make this is actually on an instructable at, at www.instructables.com um, under the country potter make your own wax resist. Uh, one thing I should note that the reason why we're using hot water to melt this as opposed to just putting it over a flame is because this stuff is extremely flammable. In fact, it makes really, really good uh, flame starter or fire starter. Um, and it burns for a long time and has a lot of heat. So you want to keep this away from open flame and unless you want to catch things on fire. Okay, once this stuff is uh, melted enough to, use, to be usable, and right now it is, um, it's still a little hard in the center, but there's enough material here to, to um, be usable. Uh, what you want to do is, oh, by the way, um, this brush is the brush that I use for wax. You, you don't want to use your wax brushes for anything other than wax, because once you get wax on the bristles, you'll never get them out, and it will screw your glazes up if you're trying to hand paint stuff. Once we've got our wax going here, what I'm going to do is I've got the, the, miss, uh, the, the frog flipped over, and I'm going to wax the bottom. The purpose of waxing the bottom is so that when you get glaze on it, the glaze will not stick because the glaze will not stick onto the wax. And you'll notice that I'm just kind of just liberally coating it, and it really doesn't take a whole lot of glaze, or a whole lot of wax to, re to to resist the glaze. And for the most part, I'm just going to go and do the whole bottom like this. And uh, once we get done, we'll go back and do the top, the parts we don't want to get glaze onto. Now it comes the tricky part. What I want to do now is I want to wax the eyes um, so that when I put glaze on it, the, the clear will stay clear as opposed to take on the overglaze of the of the wax and the glaze I want to put onto it. So I'm going to go ahead and wax the eyes now and also the hat. 
and that'll be done for, done for now. We'll come back when I get done with this. This actually will take a little bit because this is actually kind of tricky because you don't want to get it any place you don't want the uh, you don't want to get it any place you want to have glaze on it, which means I don't really want to be have it on the eyelids or anything. So anyway, we'll be back in a sec. Okay, well that's finished. Where I put the wax. Um, and like I said, I usually do a whole bunch of pieces all at once because melting the wax and getting it set up takes a little bit to do and then usually I've got 15 or 20 pieces to, to do it at one time anyway so I'll be doing a bunch more of these frogs and then in a couple of days we'll go ahead and um, uh, get all, all the glaze chemicals together and we're probably going to be putting a copper green uh, glaze on this guy and, um, and it should come out. The little red spots you see there will actually show through because the, the glaze I have is actually semi-transparent. At least that's the hope anyway.